How to use Aqua Electronic Pipette and operate various modes of pipetting. Let's revolutionize the field of laboratory research and experimentation. Let's introduce a state-of-the-art design and a complete solution for all your pipetting needs. Learn how to use Aqua in easy steps. Aqua pipettes are available in single and multi-channel variants. It is supplied with a partially charged battery. However, it is recommended to fully charge the battery for at least an hour before first use. To connect the battery, align and slide it to the back of the pipette. Now, to charge the battery, connect the charger to the USB port at the back. You can see the battery is charging. To start the pipette, use the on-off button on the back. When the button is switched on, the LCD will display press PIP. Press the plunger button. It will indicate auto check and it will redirect to pipette mode by default. The display will also show pipette's maximum volume capacity, battery status and default speed of operation, high. User can select and adjust the pipetting speed from three options of low, medium and high. Select the required operation mode to perform the experiment. There are four major pipetting modes. Pipette mode, manual mode, aspirate mode, and multi-mode. Pipette mode. This is the default or automatic mode when the pipette is on. To use this mode, turn the volume adjustment wheel to set the volume. The aspirate indicator will be displayed. Secure the tip by connecting it from the tip box. Move the pipette closer to the tip box and firmly attach the tip by using a gentle force. Now press the plunger button to aspirate the liquid. Once liquid is aspirated, the display will show the dispense indicator. Press the plunger button again to dispense the liquid. One can also dispense a lesser amount than aspirated. To do so, adjust the required volume using the volume adjustment wheel. This will activate the stepper mode. Now, corresponding steps will be calculated as per your requirement and liquid will be dispensed by pressing the plunger button step by step of equal volumes or in a single step. Pipette mode can also be used to perform mixing liquids. To use this after setting the volume, press the plunger button to aspirate the volume. Now long press the plunger button to automatically aspirate and dispense the liquid five times to complete the mixing. Till the time plunger button is long pressed, the mixing process will not start and will be on hold. Mix will be shown on the display screen. Manual mode. To select this mode, press the function button once. Set the desired volume using volume adjustment wheel. Long press the plunger button to aspirate the liquid. The aspirate indicator will be displayed. One can aspirate as per user's requirements. The user can dispense any specific volume as per their requirement. Long press the plunger button to dispense the entire liquid. In case the user wants to dispense controlled volume after aspirating, then press the function button to switch to pipette mode. Simply press the plunger button to dispense the controlled volume. Manual mode can also be used for small titration. For titration, long press the plunger button to aspirate the desired volume. Select the dispensing speed using speed button to L, low, and long press the plunger button to titrate. 
Aspirate mode. This mode is mainly used to aspirate the highly volatile liquids and those liquids may drip due to high volatile tension. To select this mode, press the function button twice. Select the volume using the volume adjustment wheel. Click the plunger button to aspirate the liquid. Withdraw the tip from the liquid and aspirate air columns as per desired volume. Note, while aspirating the liquid, the user can increase or decrease the volume, keeping in mind the total volume of the pipette. In case of mixing, aspirate again the other liquid. To dispense all the liquids along with air gaps, press the function button once to go back to the pipette mode. Now dispense indicator arrow will be shown and press the plunger button once to dispense all the liquids along with air gaps. Once done, blowout mode will be activated to dispense the residual volume from the tip. Multi mode. This mode can be used for equal and unequal dispensing in combination with aspirate and pipette modes. Press the function button thrice to select the multi-mode. Set the volume using the volume adjustment wheel. As per the set volume, the steps will be defined automatically. Press the plunger button to aspirate the total volume in a go. When the dispense indicator is displayed, press the plunger button to dispense the volume. User can increase or decrease the steps as per their requirement. Each time the plunger button is pressed, one dispensing step is performed. The display shows the number of dispensing steps left. Then press the plunger button again for blowout. This is a mode that can be used for reverse or repetitive pipetting. In case you wish to dispense controlled volume or exit any of the pipetting modes after aspirating, you need to long press the speed button. Then blowout mode will be activated and you can dispense the residual liquid in a go by pressing the plunger button. While using the four main pipetting modes, you can perform 12 other pipetting operations. Like heterogeneous sample pipetting of blood or serum, gel loading of polyacrylamide or agarose gels, sample dilution, sequential dispensing, repetitive dispensing, and much more. For more details, email us at info at microlit.com or visit our website www.microlit.com.